another big victory for Arizona State. This time over Stanford. They defend home court and sweep the Cardinal for the first time in 31 years. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Anne Marie Anderson alongside former Stanford standout Roz Gold on Wooday. And wow, it was a run that brought Arizona State back in the second half. Arizona State got serious about defense in the second half. The offense picked up, but it started on D. Stanford, when they didn't turn it over during that run and they got a shot off, they were one and done because ASU owned the boards. You know, Sophie Bruner, we're gonna talk about everybody else's offense. She had zero points in the game. I wanna point out that she controlled the game with her rebounds, with her defense, with her energy out there, just working for her teammates and creating those opportunities on offense and, and early in the game she struggled with foul trouble so great to see this sophomore stay with it yeah and meanwhile it was kelsey moose and some other players who really Absolutely. stepped in in that 16-0 run that brought them back well defense created offense you know if you get a block shot coming down on the other end then it's harder for the defense to come down and set up so there were open threes katie hempen you know she can hit that shot Kelsey Moose worked all off season on her perimeter shooting. And then the team got into it, the crowd got into it, and the rest was history. Yeah, oh. Quinn Dornstutter, career day today. Outstanding. And she said, I just had to execute the things that coach told me I had to do from practice. I said, well, isn't that so simple? Yeah. You know, she did such a great job of utilizing her height, not bringing the ball down low, getting blocks on offense, hitting her mid-range jumper, and moving to open spots where her teammates found her. This was a team effort. You know, there were some nice shots made, but everyone shared the ball in that run. This was a good team fight. A big win for Arizona State. Meanwhile, they're in the beginning of a really tough stretch. Stanford, Cal, and then Oregon State, who, oh, by the way, lost today. So Arizona State and Oregon State tied up for the conference lead. This conference is getting very interesting. And remember, Stanford still has to see Oregon State as well, as does Cal. So the fight for first is actually very still open at this point. I mean, it's... Positioning is going to be key down the stretch. It's going to get interesting. I know I can't wait for the Pac-12 tournament. Exactly. You call it the fight for first. I think we got to call it the fight in February because this month is going to be so interesting in conference play. But this one, typical of what you can expect in Pac-12 play. So we're going to say so long from Tempe as the bell is ringing. An important victory for the Sun Devils.